Hi friends, so this topic is why to prefer pass by pointer or reference over pass by value. So we'll directly see the code now. This is your main function. This I have taken a vector. You can, if you don't know, you can go ahead and check out my other videos. You might, you might get that. So there is a vector. Just consider it. If you don't know, then uh, just consider that we are making some vector, uh, some array in that. Okay. And this is the size. And for now I have taken the size just uh, 10 here. Okay. So like that, and I'm passing into some function called foo here. So this is, I'm taking, this is called pass by value because you are taking the value. So what do you think, what it is, what is happening here? It is copying one by one element from this vector to this vector. It is copying that. It is not referring this same vector, even though the name is same. And we don't want that copying because see, th this is, 10 here so sometimes this could be a 10,000 or this much big element so you won't be liking to copy this whenever you want to pass this because it is a big headache and it will take so much time to copy this whole vector and make a copy and pass to this function instead you can just simply pass the reference of that okay and the beauty is that your code will still work okay see and uh, if let's say if you, you have not given anything and we'll compile it and we'll run so as you can see it is running from 0 to 9 because I have given this C out statement here I'm looping through again if you don't know this auto this is a type detect deduction mechanism in C++ so this is nothing but just you are looping over this vector so if, if its size is 10 it will loop for 10 times if its size is say 100 it will loop for 100 times so it's like writing like this okay so generally i'm in practice with c plus plus 11 and further so i don't write like this so yeah this is what it is guys you should not prefer pa using pass by value bigger objects as you can see its size could be very big so that you will end up copying a very big object okay so generally we should prefer using reference and there might be some uh, fellows uh, who might be thinking that if you are passing by reference and what if you mistakenly change this then what is the problem you can just make this as a constant now so that you won't up ch changing anything by mistake okay yeah and you can just simply use pointers here so what could be the pointer here so instead of passing this you could just simply pass the address of this and you will get it here but syntax will be almost same here so that's it thanks for watching